So today we're talking about AI in our everyday lives. What is AI? So AI or artificial intelligence is a technology that mimics human intelligence, allowing computer applications to learn from experiences. AI systems get smarter with each successful round of data processing. Each interaction allows the system to test and measure solutions and develop expertise in a task it's been set to accomplish. So what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of artificial intelligence? Some of the advantages are reduction in the process of human error. There's a lot less risks. There's a lot more availability since it's automated. It provides digital assistance. It helps create new inventions. It can help make more logical and unbiased decisions and do more repetitive jobs. There's a lot of applications for it in your daily lives, and it can be used to replace humans in risky situations. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages. Some of the problems are it's currently very expensive. There's a, very, there's a limit on how creative it can be, and it can replace human jobs, which can cause unemployment. In addition, there's some ethics concerns considering the lack of emotions with AI, and there's not really a room as of now for some of the improvements. So let's talk about a few examples of how AI is used in our everyday lives. First, navigation apps. GPS apps like Waze and Google Maps have been using AI for years to provide users with the best possible route to their destination, taking into account factors like traffic, construction, and weather. Artificial intelligence has made this process more efficient and accurate, allowing navigation apps to provide users with real-time updates and alternative routes when necessary. In addition, short form video, including TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and Snapchat utilize AI algorithms. AI is used to personalize the content you see on your feed, ensuring that you're always seeing the most relevant videos. Also, AI is being used to recommend content to users. It's similar to how streaming services like Netflix and Amazon suggest movies and shows that you might like based on your watching history. Spotify also uses art artificial intelligence to recommend new music to its users. The AI-driven algorithms consider the songs you've listened to, the artists you follow, the genres you like, and even your location so you can discover up-and-coming local talent. AI can also be seen in rideshare apps like Uber and Lyft, which have become increasingly popular in recent years. From matching riders with nearby drivers to automatically calculating fares, AI is used throughout the process to make it as seamless and efficient as possible. Facial recognition technology also relies on artificial intelligence to help identify individuals by their physical characteristics. This can be used for various purposes, including security and surveillance, identity verification, and even marketing. This technology can be used to help unlock your phone, as many smartphones like iPhones now have this feature built in. Smart assistants, such as Amazon's Alexa and Google Assistant, are also becoming increasingly popular. These assistants use artificial intelligence to perform tasks such as setting alarms, playing music, and adding items to your shopping list. This technology is constantly evolving and becoming more sophisticated. For example, Alexa can now understand more natural language and respond accordingly. So let's go over some fun facts with AI, shall we? In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue Computer defeated the world chess champion at the time, Garry Kasparov, in a six-game match. AI systems can now create realistic looking images of people who don't actually exist. This technology is known as Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs. AI can also be used to help diagnose diseases. In 2018, researchers from Google and a hospital in California created an AI system 
that can predict whether a patient will die within 24 hours with 95% accuracy. So the focus of today is how to set up live captions on your device with an AI software called Otter AI. So what's gonna be covered today? One, what are live captions? What's Otter AI? How to sign up? Connecting apps into things like Zoom and how to use Otter AI. So first off, let's talk about what live captions are. Live captions are automatically generated captions in real time. They provide subtitles for videos and spoken audio on your devices, like YouTube videos, voicemails, video and Zoom calls, etc. The captions are always kept private unless you choose to share them. Why is this useful? Live captioning can be a useful tool for those who have difficulty hearing to audio due to hearing issues, background noises, learning disabilities, or other reasons. It, helps, it also helps provide accessibility for the hard of hearing. It helps boost comprehension because it can clarify what's being said, such as if I'm talking way too fast or monotone for some people. Or the live captioning transcripts can be looked back on if you want to remember a note. So what is Otter AI? Otter AI is an artificial intelligence powered service that can help record and import audio, provide live transcriptions, and allow for the sharing and exporting of voice notes via Zoom, Dropbox, iCloud, and many other different softwares. You can also access and use the captions of Otter AI on various devices like your phones, computers, and tablets. Otter AI is free, but certain features and upgrades can be paid for monthly or annually, and it varies depending on the plan. With the free plan, you have 600 minutes of free transcribing per month, and this can be used with Zoom. So Otter AI has three plans, the basic plan, which is their free one, the pro, which is 833 US dollars per month, or the business plan, which is $20 per month. And it's typically has features that you probably won't need. So the basic is free with 600 minutes, as we said before. The pro plan costs $8.33 per month annually if you want to pay up and upfront, or you can pay $13 per month and cancel any time. This also gives you additional pro features, such as live notes for Zoom and team vocabulary and many other features. Business features, on the other hand, give you additional tools and a maximum of 6,000 minutes per month with a maximum of four hours per Zoom recording. So how do you sign up for Otter AI? How you sign up is by downloading Otter AI from your device's app store. You can launch the app and then select your method to make an account, either your email, Google account, Microsoft account, Apple account, et cetera. You can also start with the basic account and just press get started on the pop-up and you're good to go. Otter AI provides a tutorial after you start to help teach you all the features, but if you want to skip it, you can just press do it later and find it on your homepage whenever you want. So the link is provided when you get your copy of the slideshow, which is just otterai, https colon slash slash otter.ai. You can click the button on the top right of the screen when you open the page to make an account and use one of the email addresses like we talked about before, and you sign your account and just get started. So how do we connect this to apps like Zoom? You have the option of connecting apps and programs to Otter AI, which is recommended so you can have a better and easier experience. Otter AI, besides Zoom, Otter AI also allows you to connect to tools like Dropbox, Google Calendars and Contacts, and Microsoft Calendars and Contacts, among many other different apps.
Connecting these apps gives you reminders to record meetings, automatic note titling, live viewing, and highlighting of the notes, as well as automatic saving and transcription of the recordings and the ability to sync and save Otter files for easy access to contacts for sharing. However, certain connecting apps require a paid plan. So how do you connect? Go to the Otter AI homepage, then click on your profile in the top left. By clicking on account settings, let's see if it pops up. By clicking on account settings, you would press the add button to the apps you want to connect. You can sign into the app and authorize it with the Otter AI in the pop-up and sign into your respective account. So, in addition, on mobile, you can launch the Otter AI app to click the three horizontal lines on the top left, press settings, click setup in the settings, choose what you'd like to connect, and then click the plus button for adding things like Google calendars or connect to Dropbox. Connecting to Otter AI for Zoom is with automatic captioning is only possible with a pro or business plan. However, Otter AI can still be used for Zoom Lime captioning without connecting. First, you can open your Zoom meeting, open the Otter AI app in another tab on your phone beside the speaker and click the microphone icon to record. That way you can override the need for having to pay for a pro or business plan by just having your phone listen in. So let's just go over how to use Otter AI. Once you've made your account, Otter AI offers various tutorials on recording basics, as well as playback basics. You can find these on the right side of your screen on the computer at the very top of the app. Simply click Get Started, tap the mic, You click Get Started, tap the mic, make sure that the mic can be heard, and test it out. Try saying some various things. To start recording, click the record button on the top right corner for computers or the microphone icon on the bottom of the app. Refer back to what you learned in this tutorial when you get your copy of the slides. There's also an import button for audio that you did not record but want to have captioned. Click the import button, then browse File, Continue to import to select what you'd like to import. How do I find these past recordings? To find your past recordings, expand the sidebar to the left if it's not already opened, and it'll show you things like My Conversations or Shared With Me. Click on one of those tabs and you'll find your missing and previous conversations. The homepage also shows you your calendar reminders and recordings, but only with the most recent activity. So after this is done, we'll go in the, Q in the tech Q&A room to do a quick demo. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to the site or call 1-844-217-3057 to register a one-on-one -on -one phone or web session. Mm -hmm.